Time to talk markets with Eric Osterhaus, Paragon Ag Advisor, Silver Lake. Well, are we just going to get into this range bound trade over here in the grain markets, you think? Uh, it sure seems like it right at the moment. I mean, you got a little bit of competing information that's out there. We don't have a lot going on in regards to the trade deal. We got past our last USDA report, uh, you know, uh, a little smaller yield like on corn as an example, but taking it out on carry out. And so we seem to be a little bit caught. I think uh, from the cash side of the equation, basis has stayed stronger uh, just simply because there is a pretty slow pace that's out there. And I think the end users are having a hard time getting um, bushels in because of those delays. And so that's helped us there. And it just seems like the market's kind of caught. And so uh, when in doubt, just go sideways. And that's really what we've been doing. You know, trade volume has been pretty light and we're going to continue to get lighter now that we're getting in close to the holidays. You, you mentioned basis. I think a lot of this crop, especially probably corn, well, maybe soybeans too, is going to get locked up in, in private uh, on-farm storage and that's where it's going to stay until this price comes back at least a little bit or basis improves enough that we can get close to maybe four, maybe north of $4 corn, and certainly uh, up here in the 930s, 940s for soybeans. Yeah, I mean, that's the hope. If someone has the ability cash flow wise to, to put it in their facility at home and sort of lock it up and throw away the key, I think that is the plan for a lot of folks is try to wait it out, see if, how this trade deal goes, see if any South America uh, issues start to develop and, and give ourselves some time, hopefully to, to work our way through this. And there is a little bit of carry out there on the market as well. And I think some of those folks are trying to find ways to, to lock in and take advantage of that carry that they're seeing out there. Uh, again, if they have their own facility at home, especially. Yep, I got 30 seconds here. You got any thoughts on the wheat market? Well, it, actually, out of uh, all the grains here in the last 90 days, uh, it has actually been grinding, and I do emphasize the, the term grinding, slowly higher here. Uh, you know, again, uh, we're getting closer to where maybe there's a weather concern that we might be able to start talking about on wheat. We know the Australian wheat uh, is not a great crop, and so... Uh, I guess uh, it, it's giving us a little something, but it needs a little more headlines to make that next move higher. Yep, headlines is what it's all about, it seems like here lately. Uh, all right, if uh, we want to get a hold of you folks at Paragon, it's the best way to do it. Uh, give us a ring, 888-452-8751.